about the nest little baits little baits that uh normally a lot of people uh, they call them different things sometimes they call them little sissy baits they call them little small baits because they're not the big fancy popular um the jig the spinner bait the buzz bait uh the big swim baits these baits are a little bit smaller everybody doesn't use them but let's be honest, why are we going out there? If we're going out there to show that we throw the biggest spinner bait or the biggest jig, then we can do that and never go to the lake. Our purpose is to go out there and hopefully try to catch fish. That's why I like to go. I'm sure that's why you like to go. You like to go to catch fish. So sometimes in the middle of summer, uh, the best thing to do is to downsize, is to go a little bit smaller. I know you can fish a lot bigger worms, but we're going smaller in this time, okay? so. One of the things I've learned to do over the years is just take something small. Once again, I've got a spinning rod. Take something real small, like this little worm right here. All this is is a little zoom trick worm. I've cut it down. I've put it on a little ball head jig, uh, about the same size as a Ned rig. It's got, you say, well, that hook's awful small. It's the same size of a little Ned rig hook, okay? Uh, I like taking a little dab of super glue, putting it right there on the tip of that ball right there where that plastic meets up. Pushing that bait up against it, you'd be surprised how many fish you can catch on that one little worm. Now we're gonna get some examples right here of other little baits that are real simple, okay, to fish with. Now, once again, this is something you're not gonna be able to throw on a bait caster unless you've got a really expensive, fancy bait caster. You're gonna save yourself a lot of trouble by going to a spinning rod, okay? This right here is, uh, these two are little Z-Mans. This right here is probably the most popular. Um, this one right here is probably what started the whole Ned Rig thing as far as everybody I've caught. I couldn't tell you how many fish on just this little simple one. Same thing, a little drop of super glue, rig it up on a little small. I usually use the 10th ounce. Every now and then I'll use a little bit bigger weight if I'm trying to fish somewhere deeper, somewhere uh, 10 feet, something like that. Honestly, any deeper than that, you're probably better off putting these little baits on a drop shot or something that way. But if you're fishing a lake, little small lakes like I do, or fishing out of a kayak, I know a lot of people go real deep with them. I usually don't. Um, this little crawdad bait right here, it's a Z-Man little crawdad. You, you look at it and you think, man, that's just, I mean, what do you catch with that? You'd be surprised. You can catch, I've caught a pound, pound and a half little small, little largemouth uh, on that. I've actually caught one that's probably about a pound and a half on that little thing right there, small mouth on a very big lake. Um, this one right here is the one I was actually using today. This is a little zoom speed crawl. Same thing, there's nothing that says, I know this plastic, this Z-Man plastic lasts a long time, but there's nothing that says that you can't take a little zoom speed crawl or a little plastic bait. Um, here we've got just a regular plastic worm. We've done the same thing with it. We've put a little weight on it. The key to these baits is not only their small presentation, but the key to these finesse baits is yes, you have to fish them slower. So these baits slow me down. They make it to where if I want to feel the bottom, I have to really slow down the presentation. Summertime fish, if you think about me and you, we're in that hot summer, we're usually not running wide open. Okay, we usually take our time. We usually grab something and it, it, now once they hold, they grab it, they seem to hold on to these better. Um, and that's just, I'm just going to be honest with you, they catch fish. Are you gonna catch numbers of fish? Yes. Are you gonna catch huge fish? That's up to the good Lord above. Um, the big thing is, is just going out and trying to enjoy and having a good time. But these little rigs right here, I, I can take these right here in a little pack, put them in my, uh, my vest for my kayak, and I can go out and have a good time and have a good time fishing. I hope this blesses you. I hope this gives you just some ideas of how to go out and enjoy God's creation. Um, you all have a good day. God bless.